Hello friends. In this video, I am going to share with you the important literary movements from the perspective of your entrance examination. And I am not going to provide you in detail everything. The basic information is going to be provided. For further information, you can refer other sources. The Renaissance movement was one of the earliest uh, literary movements. It was uh, appeared in Italy in the 14th century. The prominent uh, writers of this period were Petrarch, Machiavelli and Ariosto. Petrarch is called the father of humanism and the father of the Renaissance. The Renaissance is also started in English literature as well as in Scotland, which is dated from the late 15th century to the early 17th century. The scholarly writings of Erasmus, the plays of William Shakespeare, the poems of Edmund Spencer, and the writings of Sir Philip Sidney may be considered Renaissance in character. After Renaissance, we can see another movement in the name of Reformation. During the literature of Reformation, John Wycliffe is a very important writer who is called the father of English prose. These are very important. The questions may be asked, who is the father of the Renaissance, which is nothing but Petrarch, the father of English prose, John Wycliffe. So here we have Scottish Chazarians. They are a group of 15th and 16th century Scottish poets who wrote under the influence of Geoffrey Chaucer. Chaucer often uses seven line rhyme, which is called Rhyme Royal Stanza. And the same stanza was imitated or used by, by a group of writers or poets. Those people are called Scottish Chaucerians. The most important poets were Robert Henryson, William Dunbar, Uz Lamento, Gaving Douglas, Sir David Lindsay, and King James I of Scotland. You need to remember they may ask you who are the Scottish Chaucerians. The another group of poets or writers we call University Wits. The term University Wits was coined by George Sainsbury. It is a group of late 16th century English playwrights and pamphletists who were educated at the universities Oxford or Cambridge and who became popular secular writers. The prominent members of University Wits were Christopher Marlowe, Robert Greene, Thomas Nash, John Lilly, Thomas Lodge, George Pillay, and Thomas Kidd. Metaphysical poets were very important contributors to the English literature. The term metaphysical poets was coined by the critic Samuel Johnson to describe a loose group of 17th century poets whose work was characterized by the inventive use of conceits. Conceit is a figure of speech that employs unusual and paradoxical images. 
the notable metaphysical poets were john donne george herbert henry vergen abraham cowley richard crashaw and andrew marvel the another group of poets are called cavalier poets which was a school of english poets of 17th century supported king charles i during the civil war the notable poets were robert herrick richard lawless thomas carew and sir john suckling here sons of ben or tribe of ben cavalier poets here a set of group of poets who follow ben johnson's style in english poetry and drama in the first half of the 17th century that's why they were called as sons of ben or tribe of ben they were robert herrick richard lawless sir john suckling and thomas carew these four are nothing but cavalier poets also the other group of poets you can see here graveyard are churchyard poets refers to four poems thomas gray's elegy written in a country churchyard thomas parnell's night peace on death robert blades the grave and edward eng's night thoughts these four writers and poems are considered graveyard poets or churchyard poets after this you can find another group of writers or poets neoclassical poetry or which can be called augustan literature the prefix neo means new while classical refers to a written to the ideologies set in place by greeks and romans during the classic period neoclassical poetry merged the new and the old together to produce poetry that exalted the human condition without the frills that defined the renaissance neoclassical poets used logic and spares language to build bodies of work that defined this school including john dryden oliver goldsmith john milton and alexander pope so here we have important writers john dryden Oliver Goldsmith, John Milton and Alexander Pope were the very important poets of neoclassical poetry. Another important movement in English literature was romanticism which was an artistic, literary, musical and intellectual movement that originated in Europe towards the end of the 18th century. which can be considered the period from 1800 to 1850 if you look at the characteristics of english romantic poetry the sublime reaction against neoclassicism imagination nature poetry melancholy subjectivity these are the very important characteristics of romanticism the notable poets of romanticism were William Blake, William Wordsworth, Esty Coleridge, Lord Byron, B.B. Shelley, John Keats were very important poets of romanticism. Once William Wordsworth defines what is a poetry, poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. This statement may be asked in examination. So you wrote to the William Wordsworth defines poetry 
poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings now one other group of writers you can see here gothic fiction or you can call it gothic novel it is a genre or mode of literature and film that combines fiction and horror death and at times romance the three qualities like fiction fiction horror death and romance are combined in one film or story it is originated in england in the second half of the 18th century with the novel the castle of otranto a gothic story which was written by horace walpole gothic fiction tends to place emphasis on both emotion and a pleasurable kind of terror serving as an extension of the romantic literary moment the notable writers of gothic fiction are horace walpole clara reeve anna radcliffe william thomas bickford and matthew lewis other important group of poets are called lake poets william wordsworth samuel tyler coleridge or st coleridge and robert sudi were a group of english poets who all lived in the lake district of england united kingdom that's why they were called lake poets free rufflets was a group of english painters poets and art critics the group was founded in 1848 by william holman hunt john everett millais dean gabriel rossetti william michael rossetti james collinson frederick george stephens and thomas holner who formed a seven member brotherhood modeled in part on the nazarena movement transcendentalism is a philosophical and literary movement prominent in the intellectual and cultural life of new england from 1836 until just before the civil war it was inaugurated in 1836 by a unitarian discuss group Ralph Waldo Emerson, Bronson Alcott, Frederick Henry H. W.B. Channing and W.H. Channing, Theodore Parker, Margaret Fuller, Elizabeth P. Bodhi, George Ripley, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Henry Thorne and Jones Vary. realism is applied by literary critics in two diverse ways there is another literature moment which was applied by literary critics in two diverse ways the first one is is to identify a moment in the writing of novels during the 19th century that included honor d balzac in france George Eliot in England and William Dean Howells in America. The second point is to designate a recurrent mode in various areas and literary forms of representing human life and experience in literature. Realistic fiction is often opposed to romantic fiction. The romance, the romance is said to present life as we would have it be more picturesque fantastic adventurous or heroic than actuality realism on the other hand is said to represent life as it is reality naturalism is a mode of fiction that was developed by a school of writers 
in accordance with a particular philosophical thesis. The thesis held that a human being exists entirely in the order of nature and does not have a soul nor any mode of participating in a religious or spiritual world beyond the nature world and therefore that such a being is merely a higher order animal whose character and behavior are entirely determined by two kinds of forces they are heredity and environment a person inherits compulsive instincts especially hunger the drive to accumulate possessions and sexuality and is then subject to the social and economic forces in the family the class and the milieu into which that person is born the french novelist emily jola beginning in the 1870s did much to develop this theory in what he called le roman experimental that is the novel organized in the mode of a scientific experiment on the behavior of the characters it depicts the important writers of naturalism were frank norris stephen crane and theodore dreiser along with emily jola stream of consciousness is a another important movement which was a phrase used by william james in his principles of psychology to describe the unbroken flow of perceptions and thoughts and feelings in the waking mind it has since been adopted to describe a narrative method in modern fiction the notable novelists of stream of consciousness were virginia wolf and james choice his work portrait of lady is best example to describe or to present in the form of stream of consciousness Modernism is both a philosophical movement and an art movement that arose from broad transformations in western society during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The movement reflected a desire for the creation of new forms of art, philosophy, and social organization which reflected the newly emerging industrial world. including features such as urbanization new technologies and war artists attempted to depart from traditional forms of art which they considered outdated or obsolete the poet ezra pound's 1934 injection to make it new was the touchstone of the movement's approach A notable characteristic of modernism is self-consciousness. The notable writers of modernism were Ezra Pound, T.S. Eliot, H.D. Lawrence, James Joyce, Gertrude Stein, Fernando Pazzo, Conn Amson. The other important movement is expressionism is a modernist movement initially in poetry and painting originating in Germany at the beginning of the 20th century its typical trait is to present the world slowly from a subjective perspective distorting it radically for emotional effect in order to evoke moods or ideas expressionist as artists have sought to express the meaning of emotional experience rather than physical reality the notable writers of expressionism were frank french kafka alfred doblin gottfried ben henrich mann oscar kukoska
imagism was a poetic style that flourished in England and America between 1912 and 1917. It was grown partly under the influence of the poetic theory of T. E. L. As a revolt against what Ezra Found called the rather blurry, messy, sentimentalistic mannerism poetry at the turn of the century. The notable writers of Imagism, Ezra Found, he was the first leader of the movement, Ami Lowell, D. H. Lawrence, William Carlos Williams, John Gold Fletcher, and Richard Alden. Amivel Lowell says the imagist proposals for poetry. He says abandoning conventional poetic materials and diversification. It is free to choose any subject and to create its own rhythms. It uses common speech and presents an image or vivid sensory description that is hard clear and concentrated.